the next question asked on the WhatsApp is, we want to know what was your purpose of posting your photos flying in a private jet plane and traveling in a bulletproof car with so many security on the social media during your lecture tour to Nigeria in November 2023. Is this not showing off an extravagance? We love you for your dawa, not for your luxury and extravagance. <coughs> this is a very important question. It's referring to my lecture tour, which was for two weeks for, to Nigeria from the 29th of October to the 10th of November. It was for about two weeks. And the lecture tour was very successful. And I remember that I posted on the social media twice that I flew on a private jet plane from Sokoto to Elorin once and second time from Elorin to Abuja. And when I posted this on my social media, on the Facebook, on the Instagram, etc., there were thousands of comments. And Alhamdulillah, most of them saying, MashaAllah, may Allah smart reward you, you're doing a great work, may, may, may Allah bless you, may Allah give you more niyama. More than 99% of the comments were all positive. There was a small few comments, maybe 0.001% of the thousands of comments that came, a number very few. Who did say that why are you posting that you're flying in a private jet plane? Isn't it extravagance? Or what is the purpose? So in reply, and that is the reason I chose this question when it, when it was asked. That Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 271, that when you give charity and you announce about the charity you have given, it is good. But when you read, let your charity reach to the poor people in secrecy, it is better. So Allah says, when you give charity, you can keep it silent. Like the hadith says, when your right hand gives, the left hand should not know. It's good. But that doesn't mean announcing is not allowed. Depending on your purpose, if your purpose is to show off, then announcing is not good. But if your purpose is to encourage others, when you give charity and when you announce and you encourage others, it's good. Because your main niya is so that other people also join in charity, other people get sawab. So if your reason for announcing your charity is to show off that, okay, I've given charity, it's not good. Better is to keep quiet. But if you're announcing, so more people join, so it is better to announce than to keep silent. And that is the reason you may be aware that just the two weeks earlier, I won the case against one of the politician, that is the deputy, the former deputy chief minister too of Penang. I won a case against him. Many defamed me, wrote articles against me. And the court of Malaysia awarded me 1.52 million ringgits as damages. That's equal to 320,000 US dollars, equal to 2.7 in 2.7 crore Indian rupees. What I did, and you already gave me the money on the 7th of November, and I donated the complete amount for the Palestinian cause. The reason I announced is. So that it encourages the others also to take part that I have done and others will follow. It wasn't to show off. Similarly, now when you analyze that I did post twice on two occasions that I traveled in a private jet plane. If you know my talks, I always talk about simplicity. They should not be extravagance. They should not be unnecessary luxury. If you talk about extravagance, let me tell you, I did not pay a single penny for this private jet plane. The host was flying in the private jet plane. There were already 13 seats. So me and my family joined them. If you wouldn't have joined them, maybe we would have to pay for the flight ticket by going by a conventional or a commercial plane. So to say that I spend extra is totally wrong. I did not spend extra, I saved money. So it's not extravagance at all. But why did I post it? If you see that I always say, and I tell the people 
that see to it that your life should be simple, even though you can afford a business class, travel and economic class. And I do that. By Allah's grace, I can afford to travel in first class. But what I tell the people, you travel in economic class, a business class normally is four to six times more expensive than economic class. If you travel in economic class with little bit discomfort, it's not very bad. You can give that amount in charity and that's what I do. In my full life, only on one occasion when there was an emergency I had to be to that city and there was no tickets available in economy, I traveled only once in my full life. In the last 30 years of my travel, have I paid for a business class? That's a different thing than when I'm called as a guest of the government and they give me a ticket in business class, in first class. I've traveled a lot. I've been doing private jet plane many times, an umpteen number of times. Not that I asked for it. The reason is because today the world has become a global village. And you find that there's a trend that you see in the social media, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Instagram, WhatsApp, YouTube, that people try and look for role models. And we find that unfortunately most of the people that people follow, they are that, those who are not on the straight path, whether they be rock singers, whether uh, they be actors, whether they may be dancers, whether they be pop singers or maybe sportsmen, etc. So what we find that this trend is there. So the reason I did is that Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the post it says, Alhamdulillah, mashallah, that by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you find that normally these things happen with those celebrities, you know, which people look up to. So here, the, my reason main was posting it to see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the niyama even to his servants. So the main reason was not to show off, the main reason was to tell to the world that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you when you work in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you go to spread his message, Allah not only gives you blessings in the akhirah, Allah gives you in this world. As Allah says in the Quran, that if you strive for this dunya, Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 200, that if you strive for this dunya, Allah will give you the dunya, but will not give you akhirah. But if you, if Allah, and Allah says that if, you strive for akhirah, Allah gives you akhirah and dunya. So I'm just telling the world that I'm a dai. I've sacrificed my life for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm doing it for akhirah. But see the goodness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See the niyama of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah, inshallah, Allah will give me jantah fiddos. Inshallah, we pray for that. We don't know, but we pray for that. But Allah is even giving me this dunya. How many people in the world have traveled in a jet plane? Maybe 0.001% out of the 8 billion people that are there, the percentage that may have traveled in a jet plane is surely 0.001%. So imagine Allah, we are not doing for this. I have never ever paid only once for a business class, never paid for a first class, though we can afford it. Allah has given us the niyama. So the reason is to show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even blesses those people who are striving the way. What we have today is that we look up to role models. And the best role model for the Muslim is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the best role model and after that the other Ambiyas. The second category of role model are Adul Khulfa Rashidi. They are the second. After the Ambiyas, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one, then the other Ambiyas, then we have the Khulfa Rashidi. They are the second best. Then we have the Sabas. These role models of the past. Then we have role models of the recent past, then we have the role model which are living. So when we look up to the, the reason that we see today is that it happened in the past. Okay, we know regarding the earlier answer that we know that people, Allah gave victory to the people who are weak in the past. What about today? That happened maybe 1400 years ago, 1000 years ago, maybe few thousand years ago, talking about David and Goliath, talking about Battle of Badr. But Allah has given an example, even we know about the Taliban. For more than 20 years, the most richest country, the most powerful country in the world, they tried to destroy them. They spent more than a trillion dollars, 
but yet the Taliban were one of the weakest in the world. They were victorious. So here also, here you see that it is an example that people strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't go for luxury. We don't, but Allah gives you. So the purpose of mine was just to show the niyama that Allah has given to a person who is walking in his path. And the reason I said that we traveled in a bulletproof car with securities, we could see that there were umpteen number of security in Nigeria. Not that somebody would attack me. Alhamdulillah, people in Nigeria love me. But this is a protocol that not only do, do they give these protocols to the head of states, etc., but even to Adai. I remember when I went to Gambia, the amount of respect that the president of Gambia gave me, his main chief protocol officer said that no one, the protocol that you had got, even the heads of states don't get. I went to Indonesia and I could see that when I landed, when I reached my hotel, after every 50 meters there was a policeman. So from the time my destination where I landed to my destination that is the hotel, there were hundreds or thousands of policemen on the street. I was shocked. Never ever have I been in such a protocol that there are policemen every 25, 50 meters throughout for so many kilometers. I was shocked. So this is their love. So this is the niyama of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hazam in fazli rabbi to show to the world that you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah gives you honor. We have the celebrities, you know, these pop stars, the singers, they have 1 million followers, 5 million followers, 10 million followers, 20 million followers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also can give a dai millions of followers, whether it be on the Facebook, whether it be on the YouTube. So when we see Alhamdulillah, min fazli rabbi, that on my Facebook there are 23.7 million followers. There is no English speaker, religious speaker in the world, whether it be a Hindu or a Christian or a Muslim, that Allah has given more than 23 million followers. And Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not to show off, it is to show that you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah opened the pathways. So when I posted me flying a private jet plane, which a small percentage, 0.001% of the people in the world have done it, or having a bulletproof car with so much security, it's an honor, it's a protocol. So the reason was to show to the world that the honor that Allah gives you in this world and the akhirah. So it is to give an indication to the Muslims that you strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you strive for akhirah, Allah will give akhirah and this dunya also. So that was my only purpose. That is the reason. More than 99% of the comments said, MashaAllah, may Allah grant you more. They understood the reason. There may be 0.01% of the people like the questioner who posed it. Now what was the purpose? They don't understand the hikmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because I always tell. And I tell that, you know, a person should have a low profile. And I tell that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed me. Allah has blessed me even in this dunya. But in spite of that, we are on a low profile. And I've told that many times in my lecture, that I own a Toyota Innova car. That is the maximum. I said I cannot buy a more expensive car than this. Why? Because I feel above this will not be good. It's not haram. Allah has blessed me when I am earning millions of ringgit and millions of rial every year. So either I can afford a Mercedes or I can even afford a Rolls Royce, the amount that Allah has blessed me. But I own a Toyota Innova car. That's the maximum. I think above this will not be good. It's not right. But we know that we started business in Qatar during the World Cup, that is last year, in 2022. And we started a luxury car company in Qatar for the World Cup. And it happened to be the largest luxury rental car. And by Allah's grace, we owned 134 luxury cars. From the top models, from Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Bentley, Bentley Flying Spur, Bentega, Maybach, Mercedes 450, we had the Porsche. Alhamdulillah, that is for business. Imagine the cheapest car that I had in my piece rental car that was there 
द चीपेस्ट का वो थ्री टाइम्स मोर एक्सपेंसिव देन द कार आई ओन फॉर माई प्राइवेट यूज इनोवा टोयटा थ्री टाइम्स मोर एक्सपेंसिव सो मच सो दैट वेन आई वेंट टू मीट माई डॉटर इन कदर आई टूक द लोएस्ट कार दैट इज मर्सिडीज ई क्लास ई टू हंड्रेड द चीपेस्ट कार इन माई फ्लीट because hiring out said i had to pay money it was available so i took the cheapest car and i thought to it that i travel in the lowest car if i'm using my car i could have traveled in the best of cars and now i've purchased a more cheaper car so that if i travel it should be a cheaper car but when the day comes and i made it a point that now since the world cup is over the business is not really very lucrative but i yet maintained it so that there's no profit no loss but at the same time any day that comes to qatar whether he be an arabic dai or english dai if he is a islamic worker these cars are complementary and many a times many dai have come from different parts of the world we give them the best of cars not luxury cars super luxury cars they sit in a maybach they sit in a bentley imagine hiring a bentley or a maybach or a rolls royce for a day it is 9000 riyal that is 2 and a half thousand dollars of course for a normal person this rough it's extravagant but that's business we are catering to the multi millionaires or the billionaire so that's a niche market but when a day comes i give him free for me it's costing me only a cost of the petrol because the car is there the driver is there if no one comes get the car is there no cost so for me the cost is only of a petrol which may be 60 riyals maybe 15 dollars so i give the best car to the day depending upon the day and they have never sat most of the day in these high end luxury cars so i want to honor them it is not for luxury extravagant it's because they are dai i give you free of course you cannot afford 2 and 1000 dollars a day it's too expensive your air ticket economy class would be cheaper than that from which you part of the world you come to qatar it will surely be less than 2 and 1000 dollars for one day and when they for one week we give the full so one of the reason that we have maintained this rent a car in qatar is to give free service to the dai of course traveling or using these super luxury cars like rolls royce lamborghini bentley very few people have the thing but i personally don't sit in these cars no we own it it's the company in, is in the name of my son it's not in my name but i'm just giving an example we want to honor the dais so similarly when people who own the jet plane that i remember when a person had sent his jet plane in south africa to to kalik method that instead of that that cost of that you can give donation they say no no i give to celebrities what better sawab can i give than to give a dai like you in the world so here allah is giving his ni'ma so when we have these postings besides the hundreds of other posting this is just twice a couple of posting each time to show to the world that allah subhanahu wa taala is blessing a person who works in his path it is an example for the people that this is the ni'ma allah gives you in the akhira as well as the dunya so it is just to show to the world that allah subhanahu wa taala takes care of you you see to it that you don't be extravagant yourself in your life but allah will yet give you luxury so it's a blessing that my children we have traveled in various countries in the world they have been in the best of hotels five star six star seven star 10 star hotel they have been there at the same time they have they have been to the low hotels we have trained them that they should be ready as a dai to be prepared to lead a life a simple life that's the reason i've said many a times that me personally for me and my wife our monthly expenditure is only 500 dollars only 500 dollars so that we keep our lifestyle low but on for the cause of allah subhanahu wa taala when we travel we see to it that we spend in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala and allah is giving us ni'ma so all this is hadha min fazli rabbi this is because of the grace of allah subhanahu wa taala so the main purpose of putting the post whether it be the private jet planes or the security or the bulletproof car is to show that allah is blessing his servants hadha min fazli rabbi and we thank allah subhanahu wa taala we are doing it for the akhirah but allah gives you akhirah and this dunya also hope this answers the question